All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. So, it's a big day for the Yules. The Yules has uh, undergone a massive transformation, as you can see just by looking at it. Um, sorry about the sun. I, I tried to get like a shadow as placed, you know. We got like two hours worth of shit to talk about, but this, this shadow is encroaching on us and shit, so uh, I'm going to try and speed through this. I got a little cheat sheet. It's been forever since we've done a fucking contents video, right? So, uh, m much has changed. Mucho cambiar. <laughs> uh, I can't conjugate past tense. Has, I don't know, whatever. Anyway, so, um, this is going to be a four-part content series. Why is it going to be a four-part content series? Because, ladies and gentlemen, the Yules has taken the next step, right, in awesomeness. It has gone modular. Um... Also, it's a windy day. Sorry about that. Uh, I'll try to talk over the wind. <laughs> the Yules has gone modular. Um, why has it gone modular? Well, I, I was building the Yules bag, right? And uh, I found I, there was more things I wanted to use my bag for than just Yulesing. You know, like uh, like I'd go hiking down in uh, you know the Buffalo River. And there was a bunch of shit that I can't trap down the Buffalo River, so why was I bringing my traps with me? I actually think it's illegal to even carry traps in the Buffalo River National Park. I could be wrong. But, um, so I made a list. I was like, what are, what are all the things I'm ever going to want to use this bag for, right? Um, and my cheat sheet, I'll let you know. Uh, I want, uh, I want to be able to use it as a militia bag if Chinese paratroopers come, um, I want to be able to obviously use it for a hiking bag. I want to be able to use it as an adventure bag, like a geocaching or a, you know, just hitchhiking, any kind of adventure, you know. And I want it to be able to be used as a escape and evasion bag if need be, you know. Um, maybe we can't fight the paratroopers. Maybe maybe it's just run for our fucking lives, you know. <laughs> um, I want to be able to use it for camping, you know. Camping has different needs. All these bags have different needs. You know, uh, I want to be able to use it as a, a bug out bag and an inch bag in the true sense of the word. Uh, I also want to be able to use it, of course, for yulesing, extended wilderness living, and trapping. You know, there, I'm going to be trapping up here, and I, 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 I need a bag to be able to run out in the woods and set a trap line, go out in the morning, clean it up, that type of shit. So, what is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine uses, right? Um... That's, that's just what I need to use it for, is nine uses. Now, to compound it, as per the Yule's introduction video, I want to be able to use it for any season. You know, spring, summer, fall, winter, right? Um, and I found that when I was building the Yule's, I would, I would, what I would do is rearrange gear in it and shit constantly and constantly. Figuring out what works, what didn't work, what works for what season, what didn't work for what season, you know. Um... But if you, if you take those nine uses, nine uses times four seasons, that's 36 different bag configurations, right? Just to use uh, um, the bag for everything I want to be able to use the bag for. Um, for, for the sake of, of terminology, I will still refer to it as the Yules, even though it will be used for all these other things, right? So I figured out after a long deliberation and, and shit, I figured out the best way to do that is to go modular. Um, so I have, I broke it, all those nine uses down into four different modules that I can use, right? And the theory is that uh, I have this base bag, which is, this is the first thing I'll show you guys. Um, in the first video, we'll tear apart the base bag. Uh, and uh, I, I have these different modules that I, you know, I stick in these sea line dry bags. And uh, based on what I need to use the bag for, it's an easy, well, I need this one, plop it in the bag, let's go. Oh, it's a bug out bag, plop it in the bag, let's go. You know, so, uh, so that's why it's going to be a four-part series. Without further ado, let's, because uh, this shadow is encroaching, fuck you, <laughs> it's going to be bad light soon. Um, let's get into this. So, we'll set these aside for now. This is the first video, and each one of these uses actually... Yeah, each one of these different bags, which cover multiple uses, because remember, I only got four different modules here for nine different uses, but each one of these different modules will be a different video, and I'll explain all the uses for it. So, 
we'll get rid of these guys. Um, <clears throat> so here I go. The first, this bag right here, just this and everything in this bag right now is going to be used as my militia bag, my hiking bag, my adventuring bag, or in my E and E bag, right? Don't need this. We'll put this away. <laughs> so this is a. The first thing you will notice immediately is this is not the Kelty Red Wing 50. Oh my God! What happened? Well, we actually upgraded to a Kelty Lakota 65, which is 65 liters, right? Um, so we upgraded the space of the bag, and we actually took shit out of the bag. <laughs> so I'll just tear this apart and show you what's in it. This is the base bag, right? Um, I guess I should mention uh, at the beginning of the video, at the top of the hour, sorry, my dogs are getting into a bunch of shit, that uh, the cold weather, the winter version, if I want to take any of these configurations, right, um, all I need to do is grab a, a big wool jacket, and boom, I'm winterized. Um, I know that might not sound realistic to some of you guys, but trust me, it is. So, um, spring, summer, and fall, I can get by with this. Uh, winter, I just grab a jacket. Um, and basically, if I'm encountering any temperatures under 30 degrees uh, for any of these uses, I'm, I'm bringing the, uh, the jacket with me. Above 30 degrees, this, this guy will keep me toasty, warm, and comfortable. So, I quit dick teasing and let's get into this. Uh, We'll start on the outside. A lot of this is gear you have, you've seen before, you know, but this is the whittled down version. Because remember, this is the the E and E bag, the militia bag, the adventuring bag, and the hiking bag, right? So if I just want to do a day hike down to the river or something, the whole thing weighs 24 pounds. Base weight uh, with all this shit in it. I picked the color red or cyan or brown or whatever faggy name they have for it because, frankly, it blends in better than green does during the winter time, and. Um, and, and possibly even the summertime because the leaves are still on the ground. But, uh, you know, camouflage and stealth is, is one aspect that I want to be able to incorporate into all these modules. So uh, this blends in better. And in the summertime, it might blend in, but you can always just go run into the fucking trees, you know. If you're running from, if you're running from fucking drones and hellfire missiles and shit, right? So uh, I guess we'll kick this off. Um, outer pocket first. Boom. So this is the, the PDK, the USGI, it's just a PDK, it's got a, uh, just a bandana in it. This is my PDK PSK, so it's my personal survival kit, right? This is something you can stick in the cargo pocket. I feel reasonably concerned that I can take on all, all challengers with just this. And it consists of the PDK, I should probably lay the big shit out first, but whatever. Uh, bandana. Uh, a couple of tampons. Now I want these tampons to be able to be used for, um, uh, you know, basically quick clot too if we need to. So uh, I'm gonna get some tampons that are back in, you know, in the original package or sterilized. But you know, fire starter, quick clot, water collection tampons are great for a bunch of shit. Uh, backup compass, uh, bottle of iodine. This is essentially my first aid kit. You know that and uh, being able to. Evaluate and treat a casualty. Uh, go Google Army Study Guide, Evaluate and Treat a Casualty, learn all that shit. You can do most of that shit with um, some some sterile bandages, some disinfectant, and some sticks and cordage. So. And of course a lighter. Extra lighter, never a bad thing to have around. Um, you guys recognize these two? The Becker BK-17, of course. Um, you know, I'm not going to take all this shit out. Y'all can go look in other videos. Uh, the, the most important aspect, just showing you what's in the base bag, and then uh, we'll show you what's in the modular bag. So, uh, Baco Laplander, Becker BK-17. Anywhere I'm going, out in the woods, anything I'm doing, no matter what I'm doing, uh, I'm always going to want uh, light and information and entertainment. Uh, Eton Scorpion. Still want to do a gear review about that. That thing's been through hell and back. Still works fine. Um, got this wire that I use as the antenna when we're down in the valleys for the Eton Scorpion. Really helps out a lot. Um, Alright, let's rip this shit open. One thing I like about the Kelty Lakota is that it, it is top loading, but it's got this front access panel, which is really cool. The... Uh, 
the Red Wing only had a, a front access and didn't wasn't top loading. So, um, shit, how are we gonna do this? <laughs> I'll, I'll just put this shit over here and whip it out. So, uh, where are we going here? Your favorite friend, USGI Gore-Tex Bivy. Boom. Seen it, love it, know it, want to marry it, want to kiss it, want to make out with it. Great piece of gear. Get all this shit back in here. Well, let me, I gotta move the bag now, because it's fucking. All right, y'all seen the bag. Fuck it, we'll just put it up here. <laughs> um, now, this is new. This is a Stanfield Wool Union suit. And it's pretty heavy duty wool. And uh, basically, this is the insulation aspect of the base bag. Uh, during summertime, sometimes temperatures dip lower than you you know you think they would, <laughs> and it's basically like, oh shit, what am I gonna do? Well, wool union suit, this thing is bomb, dude. So baller. Uh, it's wool, it's durable, covers your whole body. It's great. Um, the theory of the base bag is that I have two windproof layers, my Gore-Tex and USGI Poncho, right? And uh, then I have a wool layer because we want to be able to function without um, uh, fire if we need to. And that I mean, wool is the only way to go with that. It's the only thing that's going to insulate while wet. So, um, food. Now, I'm, I want to make a switch. This is a 40 ounce clean canteen, right? And a titanium cup. And I want to make a switch to uh, a food that I don't have to cook. Maybe gorp, good old raisin peanuts, I don't know, uh, sardines in a can, I don't know. But this is two pounds of food in here that I will always be carrying. Uh, Got to change the food in order to not need a fire to cook it. Um, one liter of water, USGI canteen, and cup and cover. Cover helps when it's really freezing outside. Thermarest Pro Light Plus. Boom. A thin pair of wool socks. USGI wool gloves, uh, USGI wool balaclava, put him up at the head region, we'll put the gloves at the hands region, <laughs> um, a bunch of cordage, 200-ish uh, feet or so of uh, tarred braided nylon cordage and a little bit of paracord. I love, I love rolling with that. Um, that shit's real durable. USGI wool scarf, mandatory. We got way down here. Uh, wool hat, mandatory. Now a thick pair of Fox River wool socks. So we got two pair of socks, which is good. Not only because you need to change your socks if you're moving quickly during like a, a militia or an E&E &E or, you know, but also you can layer them up if it gets fucking cold. And it really helps. Uh -huh. What else we got down here? Is that it? No, that's it. Oh yeah, the top loading pouch. Here we go. Got my hat. Gonna switch to a boonie hat. That's just gonna happen. Uh, got my maps of the operating area. Still need to get map case and shit for that. Copy of the Constitution, Declaration of Independence. Great reading. Knock off USGI compass, still need to get one of those, those Kamenga compasses. Um, salt, right? Fork, need a titanium spork, don't know where it is, have one, haven't found it. Um, and some tea. Or some weed if y'all are inclined. Uh, actually, weed might not be that bad for like interesting areas and shit. You could probably, that's probably a good barter item, but anyway. So this is it. That's it. Um, this is the base bag of the Yules, and again, this is, oh, fuck, I'm fat. This is used for uh, just hiking every day, four seasons. Militia bag, you know, if, if fucking, you know, I need to run off and, and fight paratroopers, four seasons, right? Um, now, mind you, the four seasons, the winter time is not going to be as comfortable, but I know for a fact that you can stay alive down to fucking <laughs> negative 16 degree wind chill with just this shit right here and this coat. Um, so where was I? Militia bag, uh, adventure bag. 
We got everything we need to go. Go what? You know, uh, geocaching. Sure, why not? You know, if if we get stuck out or get lost somewhere, I mean, we're fucking set. You know what I'm saying? I might want to add like a, some signaling devices, maybe a whistle and a mirror, especially because I've been watching this show. I shouldn't be alive, and you know, eh, okay, I might add some of that, but that's minuscule weight. It doesn't add any weight to this at all. Um, and E and E bag, of course. Uh, we got to run. You know, what do you need during E and E? You need intel. You need to stay alive, you need camouflage, and you need to stay warm until you get to somewhere. <laughs> I don't know where you go in an E&E &E scenario, but uh, this is going to do it for you. So, for Militia Bag, E&E, &E, adventuring, uh, uh, hiking, you know, geocaching, 24 pounds, that's like nothing on my back, man. Nothing at all. And I should mention that uh, this all assumes that you are wearing the... Uh, uh, you're wearing a nice pair of true spec pants, uh, season appropriate shoes and socks, and a t-shirt. That's it. Nice cotton t-shirt. Um, so, there you go. That's that's the base bag. So now, uh, I'm going to stop this video and I'm going to take a piss and I might have to reposition because the sun is coming. Uh, or the shadow is coming. Uh, in fact, we might even have to do this on another day. I, I don't know. We'll see what happens after this whether I can find a place with sunlight or not. But uh, there you go. That's, I mean, that's it. I've got other little things I didn't mention for some of you first timers. Everybody who watches all, follows the Yule's video knows this already, but you know, I got another lighter in here. I got a sharpening stone. I got a ferro rod, you know, uh, uh, there's gonna be some water ta purification tablets in the pocket, you know, just, just some little shit that is negligible fucking weight. Um, 24 pounds. Really confident about this. Really put a lot of work into getting down to really what the fucking bare bones is of a system. Because if you're just out adventuring, hiking, or if you're if you're e and eing, or you're fighting, you know, you say you're fighting Chinese people in the fucking woods. I know that's never gonna happen. Okay, we all know it's never gonna happen. But I want to make it the everything bag that can't. You know, call it my Rambo fantasy. Call it whatever you want. But you're not gonna want a fucking bag that weighs. 80 fucking pounds because you're not going to be able to move through the woods especially in these hills around here so 24 pound base weight is great you add what 10 15 pounds of ammo to that okay we'll say 10 pounds of ammo you know that's a good 100 100 rounds 200 rounds depending on what gun you're carrying uh oh and that's the other thing all these are all independent of the gun remember that you know i take different guns for different situations i'm gonna take a for example a 22 pistol if we're going trapping to dispatch game maybe a 22 rifle if we're going to live in the woods for fucking six months yulesing um if we're bugging out to a stadium or or someplace like that i'll just take a little pistol pocket pistol for protection for my family you know shit like that um and if the chinese paratroopers are coming i've got rifles and and shit like that so it's all independent of the gun but 24 pounds you know it's great for it's a perfect barely notice it weight for all those things that we're going to use the base bag for the kelty lakota 65 which again i swear to god it's the last time i'm going to say it. <laughs> militia bag escape and evasion bag hiking bag adventuring bag geocaching shit like that so all right on to the next episode. Episode one over. I got pissed like a racehorse. Boom. Hey guys, I forgot to add in the main bag, uh, it's in the secret compartment down here. <laughs> I was fighting the light and it was getting, uh, getting a little hectic. So I forgot to add that I also carry another, another about a liter of water on a bottle that attaches. You guys have seen this before. This is nothing new, but I'll just add it. Uh, my Sawyer squeeze filter. Water is a real important one. Um, the plunger to clean the filter and this thing to filter the water. It screws onto the top. It screws onto the top like that. So, we got water filter and everything too. <laughs> important oversight. Didn't mean to overlook it, but it was hiding in my bag. My cavernous bag. All right. One last thing I forgot to ask. I swear to God, this is it. Um, in keeping with uh, the base pack, right, to be able to function as a militia bag, um, if you're going to fight something, you know, I got an FLC. Um, just strap this thing on. This thing has eight pounds of ammo, uh, you know, trauma bandages and shit like that. And now you're ready. Militia has some of you. Let's go. You know what I'm saying? So, um, uh, 
you know, in, in this case, sadly, it's the Mosin. We sold, <laughs> I had to sell the Mini 14 because we po and I had to get a new bag. Um, but, so, yeah, I guess that's all I want to show you is the, uh, all the other ammo you'd ever going to need, I'm just going to strap in the bag, right? You know, box ammo, put it in the bag. Uh, but, militia ing for militia ing it's now a verb that's correct um i got i got my mosin i got my flc you know you can carry i got my own stripper clips in here you can carry 100 what do i got in here 5 10 15 20 20 by 30 in each so i got 90 rounds a 308 that's a great start you know uh but uh yeah militia bag you dead motherfucker